Okay. So you're going to find the formula mass of KClO3. This is the formula mass. All right, so you start with each one, one at a time. So potassium, you have one atom of uh, potassium. All right, and you're going to multiply times the conversion factor. And you want to cancel out one atom of potassium, so one atom of K or one K atom, whatever. The mass of potassium, like you all said, is 39.098, so I'll just do 39.1, that's fine. 39.1, and again, our units are AMU now. Now again, the good thing about setting up this way is that you're canceling out the wrong units, you're canceling out atoms, and you're going to get AMU. We're doing one atom potassium because there's only one in this compound, and we're using 39.1 because we do look at the periodic table, you plug in the number, you multiply. Thankfully, that just gives you 39.1. And that's for potassium. Okay, so potassium is done. Chlorine, same way. So one atom of chlorine or one chlorine atom. Uh, you look at the periodic table for chlorine, 35.45. So I'll use 35.5, I guess. That's AMU. Again, 35.5, just multiply times one, no big deal. And that's for chlorine. Now the good stuff, oxygen. So we have three atoms of oxygen. So three oxygen atoms. So we got our conversion factor, we only put one. Because that's conversion, okay? So we're multiplying three, that's how many you have in the formula. The conversion factor is always one. So these factors here always have one. It's always dealing with one. Because when you look at the periodic table, that's telling you for every one of that atom. So for oxygen, it's 16 for one atom of oxygen. So whenever you're using these conversion factors, there's always one in the bottom, one in the bottom, one in the bottom. Because when you look at the periodic table, that's telling you for every one. So 16 AMU, our conversion for a 16 AMU of oxygen for every one atom of oxygen. Atoms cancel, atoms cancel. And what's, what was three times? 48. And that's for oxygen. You add all these three up. 124, 122, 26. <laughs> yeah, that makes, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm just double checking. 122.6. This is the formula mass for KClO3. So you all now know, know how to do number one in the prequence. Yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it. Done.